coming up in the vlog. It's definitely, you got to say, the definition of a car. It just about gets over the line. First checkpoint for my one euro car, the Lamborghini factory. Ooh. Yeah, almost got killed. Please, can you get me home? Please. Cheapest car in Europe. <laughs> it's the Centauri, Centario, Centenario. Like a wince, like, it like, seems like, yeah. Yeah, it's just like too much eye candy in one go. I can't deal with it. Let's not, let's not lose this battle now. What the hell is that noise? 7.5 to 8 million. And that's because it's the coupe, that's the cheap one. I'm about to pull over because it's overheating. One of then, let's look at these one of one examples. Only on Wimpy Brothers. So make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe. Anyway, off to Italy. Let's go on a road trip and do it. So the saying goes, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, which by the kind of looks of things is smash stuff with pickaxes and shields and stab people with swords. But I find myself here in Boulogne, and as the saying goes in Boulogne, buy yourself the cheapest car in the European continent for one euro, and then try and drive it 800 kilometers home through the Alps. I'm pretty sure that's what the saying is. Hmm. So why would you ask would I be buying the cheapest car in Europe? Well if you're like me and you kind of watch a lot of automotive stuff on YouTube then you kind of notice a bit of a trend like I bought the cheapest Lamborghini and then I bought the cheapest Rolls Royce or I bought the cheapest A-Class you know like the sporty one and then I kind of like thought well what's just the cheapest car? Yeah not just the cheapest one in the country I thought I'd go for up the game. I thought I'd go on the continent. European continent. So let's make this official, shall we? Bear me a sec. Here is the invoice. There it is. Official price, one euro. Swear on my mum's life. That's the price of the car. That's the price that's on the invoice. Nice. So, with the recent opening of the European borders, yeah, I thought it'd be a good excuse to go on a bit of a European road trip. Have a bit of fun, see some beautiful scenery, and hopefully some beautiful cars. And it's not like I chose Boulogne, it was just a case of that's where I found it. Being stored at the Interporto Boulogne. Ooh. Yeah, almost got killed. So apparently this car is a run and drive to some extent. Now, I figured if I brought like a series of tools or things to potentially try and fix the car, like spark plugs or anything like that, I kind of thought that would be, yeah, that'd be cheating. Please, God of all that is motoring, Please, can you get me home? Please? And can I, have a, can I have a Lamborghini one day? Just saying. Okay, so th this place is absolutely colossal. I hate this bit because, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. No idea. Normally I have to deal with probably a very impatient and abrupt Italian man. Yeah, yeah, I don't like this bit. It's 
So for Carl's Auto One. Just no. Is it this way? Auto one? I just got the which I think is Italian for cough. Right, I think I'm in the right spot. It's time to do the paperwork and I'll catch you in a bit. A few moments later. <laughs> well, I've done the paperwork. They've moved it outside the park for me. All I can say just from my reaction to it now is definitely, like I say, the definition of a car. It just about gets over the line. It's it has got four wheels and it, I did witness it move under its own power, so all positive. Are you ready for this? Right. <laughs> Probably one of the funnest car reveals that we'll ever do on Wimpy Brothers. Are you ready for this cheapest car in Europe, but for one euro <laughs> here in sunny Bourgogne? <laughs> <laughs> goose, have a little goose of ganders over this. The Fiat Cicento, I think that's uh, I think that's what it is, which basically stands Cicento means 600. And yeah, I'm kind of surprised, pleasantly, I think. Are you? That is a one euro car, officially. It's officially a one euro car. Swear, cross my heart, hope to whatever, die, whatever you want. I don't hope to die. Please don't die in this episode. Please get me home. Please get me home. Yeah, what else can I tell you about this car? It's a Fiat Sint, yeah, 600 with, uh, it's a 0.9 Li Av, and it's a Fiat 600 Young, Sicento Young, which basically means it's got fully loaded options of things like the four wheels, a windscreen, and two mirrors. Oh, and a steering wheel. Yeah, basically it's like the bottom of the wrong one. Yeah, comes with this lovely matte. This must have been an added optional extra. That matte paintwork. That's all the rage nowadays. I think this must have been ahead of its time. Maybe that's even a wrap. Nice. On the on the exterior, actually, like apart from obviously the matte matte coloured paintwork. Well, obviously it's got some scratches and stuff. That just all looks a bit dirty. Not sure if that was trim that is missing or not. What's that there? That's the wrap coming off. Nice. Let's have a quick peek in the old interior. Good. Steering wheel. Yeah, in-car entertainment info system. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look in the back. Yeah, the interior's looking really good. Really in good shape. Yeah, definitely one careful lady owner. Check it out. Yeah, windows, they open. Good, that's my air conditioning sorted. Lovely jubbly. Time to pop and see what's under the hood of this bad boy. Wow! This naturally aspirated 0.9 litre Italian built engine kicks out 38, well it did kick out 38 bhp from new. Yeah. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. That's, that's actually not too bad. That's surprisingly clean, right? Coolant. Is there, is there some in there? Okay, first stop, coolant. Okay. Remember, I did say I was allowed to replace essential liquids. All right, there's the oil plug. There is a tiny bit on the tip there. Right, okay. So, adding that to the essential liquids then, oil and coolant. Nice bit of varnish flake there. According to the paperwork, it's not been in a previous accident. And according to the paperwork, this is, this has had, guess how many owners? It's had one, yeah, one, one owner from you, can you believe it? One lady owner, one careful lady owner. Her name, 
I'm going to check the paperwork was Lucia and that is exactly what we're going to be calling this car. Hello everyone, say hello to Lucia. Time then I suppose for the illustrious cold start, although I'm not sure if you can call it a cold start when it's like 35 degrees, baking hot. And that, with whatever, with lit, what kind of little lubrication and oil and cooling liquid it's got in there, it's actually doing all right. Time for me to get this closed, get this off, and get my plates on and start getting a plan of attack. I'd do it. Time then to get on the road. Right, this needs obviously some essential liquids and so do I. The heat is in intense. Wow, obviously this unfortunately didn't come with air conditioning, so it's going to be a... Uh... What is that? Let's not worry about that for now. Let's worry about oil, petrol, oil, coolant and water. Right, okay, where's the key? There you go, I've just put Lamborghini into the old sat nav for telephone waves, and it is all of seven minutes away. First checkpoint, my one euro car, the Lamborghini factory. <laughs> yeah, boy, and do it. Bon voyage. <laughs> 